Mittens Anish is Cheslacom's revival of the original Mittens bot, and it's even stronger than the original. So, I paired it up against Stockfish 15 for one of the craziest chess games ever, boys. Five sacrifices and the craziest trackmate that you will ever see all in one game. So let's just jump into it. So Mittens Anish starts the game off with the ready opening, most famously played by Gary Kasparov against Deep Blue, the supercomputer. And I mean, Gary won that first match, so uh, that's what we get in the game. And now Stockfish is laughing like, huh. This is what you puny human bots have to offer, the ready opening. We get the ready gambit, and Stockfish is already laughing because, I mean, Stockfish is just gonna destroy this opening, right? Well, it wasn't so easy for Stockfish, okay? Obviously, Anish wants to Fianchetto here. We get a very close position from the start, Bishop here. And now look at this knight reroute that Stockfish does, of course, Men's Anish castles, and we move the knight once, and we move the knight twice. Kind of breaking some opening rules, right? You shouldn't move one piece twice in the opening. Well, obviously, Stockfish doesn't care about your stupid rules, humans. It moves it twice, okay? And of course, because this is a computer game, we have to get H4 by Mittens Anish. Just push the flank pawn, and we get A5 by Stockfish. Now, Mittens Anish is like, hey, that knight is looking kind of stupid. Let me kick it out. And he kicks it out. The knight just goes back. L like, look at what Stockfish did. It moved the knight once from here to here. Then it moved it twice from here to here. And now it moves it back. Like, this looks stupid, but... Stockfish is already saying that it's better here, right? Now, Stockfish is kind of like that meme where Obama gives himself the medal. And we get queen to a4, pinning the knight to the king. But this is already kind of a mistake in Stockfish's eyes because what is the queen doing there? It's not doing anything useful, okay? The bishop obviously develops, breaking the pin. If the knight moves, the queen will be under attack. And now we get h6, okay? Wanting to double the pawns. Now, you, you could push here, but... Stockfish just doesn't care. Takes. Double my pawns. Open my king side. I don't care, bro. I'm not even gonna castle this game, bro. That's how good Stockfish is. It just it doesn't need to castle, okay? Now we get the knight jumping into the center. We get the bishop going back because obviously you don't want to blunder a bishop. Also, even if it's a trade, you don't want to trade the knight for a bishop. Bishop slightly better. And now the queen jumps in. And this is gonna be a crucial part of the game, okay? Just in a few moves, you will see why this is such an important move. We get a pawn push. Okay, the knight re-rotates, jumps back. And now Stockfish puts the knight in the center. Now we get bishop takes. Okay, now black can't castle on this side. I don't think black was gonna castle on that side anyways because... First of all, Stockfish is gangster and it's not gonna castle. But second of all, that side is very weak and very open. It's gonna use it for attacks, not for castling, okay? The rook moves. The whole point of this move is to bring the rook down to attack this bishop and to bring it into the game. The bishop obviously moves back. And now we get this pawn push. And you might be smart enough to see that, the, well, this knight has nowhere to go. Like, anywhere this knight goes, it gets taken. It, like, it has no squares to go to. Menzanish trapped its own knight. Yeah, and we get a pawn push on the other side. And Menzanish is just down a knight. Bishop takes. Obviously, the rook goes back. You don't want to blunder a rook for a bishop. But what is happening here? Why is Mittens Anish down a piece for a pawn? Well, the boys, this is not the only sacrifice of the game. This is just where it begins, okay? The knight jumps in, the bishop moves, and now the queen goes to the center, okay? Obviously, wanting to push the b-pawn forward and just kind of being supported by the bishop there. And after h5, this is exactly what we get. The knight is hanging, boys. Look at this. You know what Stockfish plays in this position? Rook to a7. Yeah, it says take my knight. Come on, do it, bro. Come on, let me see you. Let me see how tough you are, Mittens Anish. Uh, you take this knight. I hate to break it to you. Your queen is trapped, bozo. <laughs> Where is the queen gonna go? Here it gets taken by a pawn. Here it gets taken by a knight. Here it gets taken by a pawn. Your queen is trapped. You cannot take the knight. Rook a7, what a move. But now, Mittens Anish goes bishop to g6, sacrificing a bishop. Okay, sacrificing a bishop. Why does it sacrifice a bishop? Well, because you take, and now you can take the knight. Because if b takes, the queen has an escape square. It hits the rook. Uh, yeah, any move you make here other than taking the bishop, it's a draw, right? If you go here, look at this. <laughs> it's a draw, and it's even slightly better for white. That's how crazy this position is. You have to take the bishop. And this is what happens in the game. Queen goes back, attacking the rook. Now the king has to go to defend, okay? You don't want to bring the rook back. And now the queen does the triple juicer attack. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Only move here. Move the king. Why? Let's say let's say you think you're smart and you develop a knight. Nothing is in danger, right? The king is defending everything. The queen is defending this. Knight takes with check. The king has to move. Stockfish says f8 is the best move, so we're going to go there. Now you take the rook with check. After the king moves, well, everything is hanging, bro. The knight is hanging here. Like, you're dead lost. I mean, what a crazy tactic to spot. Obviously, Stockfish knows that this is the best move. It moves, and we get a bunch of trades. Okay, knight takes pawn. We get bishop takes, queen takes, 
and now the queen blocks the track, we get a queen trade. We're in an endgame where Stockfish is up a piece for a pawn. How the hell is Midden Zanir gonna do in this endgame? Well, you're gonna see, okay? We get the delayed bond cloud, the Huifi <laughs> and Cat of the King, and now we get push, okay? We want to trade those pawns. The rook comes because this file is gonna open up. And basically, Min Zanish wants that open file for himself. Once everything opens up, we get takes, we get takes. And now the king goes back, probably anticipating some checks, some attacks. It doesn't want to deal with any of that. It just goes back, okay? We go rook to e1. And now Stockfish commits the cardinal sin of chess. We get e4. And Stockfish is the only chess player that's strong enough to not take on Passant here, okay? You could take this pawn with on Passant with black magic, but Stockfish is so powerful that it refuses on Passant and moves the rook to the open B file, okay? Now we want to get a rook trade. We get a rook trade. The bishop goes here. And now look how Stockfish finagles this position, okay? Look how it sucks to dry. First of all, it gives up this pawn, but it doesn't really care. Most humans would be afraid to give up this pawn because now white has a free A pawn, right? It's a flank pawn. It's a pass pawn. It's gonna go down the board. Stockfish doesn't care. Stockfish knows it can win this. We get tracked. The king moves. The bishop drops back. And the whole thing that Stockfish is playing for is this pawn and this pawn right here. It wants to infiltrate. Does it want a rook trade then? Of course it doesn't want a rook trade. Rook moves, rook goes back attacking the bishop. We kind of get the pieces shuffling and Stockfish kind of slowly muse this position with check, brings the rook down and now the rook is hitting everybody here, okay? It's hitting everybody. Rook goes to defend, we take this pawn over here and Stockfish is gonna have to move sometimes, okay? We get check, we get check. The king runs to the other side, wanting to probably do something with this A pawn. Now the bishop drops back attacking the rook. The rook goes back and now we're attacking this pawn. Look at this. Stockfish has three pieces attacking this. You can basically not defend this pawn. So Midden Zanish kind of gives up, moves the rook up, and we get takes with check. The king moves, the knight drops back, stopping this pawn and also attacking this pawn. We get takes, takes, the bishop goes here, and look at what Stockfish has done. It's won all the pawns. It has two connected pass pawns. And well, yes, Middens does have two pawns as well. They're much easier to win, okay? Especially when you're up an extra piece. Now the pawn pushes and we get checked. Now you might think I will just check Mittens until Oblivion. It doesn't work. He can hide. And this pawn is one square away from promotion, okay? We get checked. King moves. And we lose the pawn, boys. Yeah, we didn't. Check here. Uh, we win the bishop. Thank you very much. <laughs> when I put A4 into my stockfish, it said it has forced mate in like a few moves. This chess.com stockfish, not as good. So it says mate in 11, but it's not really mate in 11. Check. The king moves. And now we push the pawn, okay? We want to make a queen. We get track. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to run the king to safety. King goes here to defend the pawn. Rook cuts off the king. So the king is completely cut off out of the game. It cannot go anywhere. And now the pawn pushes. Look at this. Rook behind the pawn. And now you might say, okay, well, you move the bishop. You move the knight to defend the pawn. No, it doesn't care. It moves the knight. And it queens. Sacks the queen. Sacks the new queen. Take it. Take it, it says. Uh, we, of course, take the queen. Rook goes up. Now, Minzanish is kind of desperate, so he brings the rook to the B file. Knight takes. The rook doesn't take. The knight takes, okay? The pawn pushes. The knight re-rotates. And look at this. Knight to B3 checkmate. This king had no moves. It was stuck, right? The B file is cut off. The bishop cuts off this square. Knight to B3 checkmate. What a gangster Stockfish is. And it absolutely incinerates Minzanish. Boys, if you like this video, maybe watch Minzanish try to beat Hakarubat and Nelson because, well, those games were kind of insane. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Bye!